In this question, we have a house that is situated in a sunny climate. So in order to keep the interior of the house cool, the wall material must be made of a bad conductor of heat so that the heat does not get conducted into the house easily. And the color of the house, it should be light in color so that it is a poor absorber of heat and it will not absorb so much of the radiant heat from the sun. So the answer should be B. Okay, according to the voltmeter, this reading is for temperature of melting ice which is 0 degrees Celsius. And this reading represents the temperature of 100 degrees Celsius because it is in steam. Okay, so from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius, let's count the number of division. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we can say that each division represents uh, increase an increase of 10 degrees Celsius. So now let's look at this. This point here is 0 degrees Celsius and this point point here it is 100 degrees Celsius. So now let's count. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So the temperature of the liquid is 70 degrees Celsius. Okay, to attempt this question, let's look at all the four options. Boiling occurs only at the surface of a liquid. This is not right because boiling occurs throughout the liquid. Okay, option B, bubbles are produced throughout the liquid during boiling. Okay, although we see bubbles all around the liquid during boiling, but the bubbles are only produced at the heat source, which is usually at the base of the beaker, and they rise up uh, through the liquids. So this is not right. Okay, option C, evaporation is not affected by the surface area of the liquid. Uh, this is not right because the larger the surface area, the faster the evaporation. And evaporation occurs at any temperature when the, when the matter is in the liquid state. This is correct. Answer D. In this experiment, we have 1700 joules of thermal energy supplied to 8 grams of ice. So to find out how much ice remains after the experiment, we just need to check Based on 1,700 joules of energy, how much ice would have melted? Then we minus off uh, by 8 and we will find out how much, how much of the ice remains. Okay, so using the formula, Q is equal to MLF. Q is 1,700. We want to find what is M. And the specific latent heat of fusion is 340. So the mass of ice uh, that melts, it will be 1,700 divided by 340, we have 5 grams. So 5 grams of ice melted, so 8 minus 5, we have 3 grams of ice remaining. Answer B. This is a recall question. So the amplitude of the wave is the distance from the equilibrium point which is indicated by this dotted line to the highest point or the lowest point of the wave. So the answer should be B.